After 18 months of setting records for gaming numbers, Deadwood saw a downturn in March. Kelly Land Cindy Thorson explains what this news means for casinos. Month after month, the city of Deadwood saw more gamers than ever before. Over a year later, casinos saw their first dip. Of course, when you look at it as a whole, uh, we didn't, you know, get the numbers uh, quite where we wanted them. Um, for an end result of the month or the quarter. Casino manager Tyler Nold at the Deadwood Mountain Grand says it's not a bad thing. We're really excited about how incredible 2021 really truly was. You can't really take those numbers and uh, celebrate them in the moment, but right now uh, having somewhat of a bad start to 2022, we're really just trying to be positive and looking back and going, wow, 2021 really was incredible. Sports wagering for the month of March were the highest numbers yet here in Deadwood. We knew that March Madness was going to be good for Deadwood and sports wagering, and we were just uh, just a little bit shy of doing a million dollars in sports wagering, uh, 975000 and so we were just very, very happy with those numbers. Mike Rodman with the Deadwood Gaming Association is hopeful with summer tourism coming up that this downturn won't stick around. We still think there's, uh, there's more upside. A little hiccup in March, but what we're hearing is that uh, hotel reservations look strong for this summer. We've got uh, a lot of events. We think that uh, there, there could be some upside again yet for 2022. In Deadwood, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. The South Dakota Gaming Commission reported a 6% decrease in Deadwood's gaming numbers for the month of March compared to last year during the same time. Well,